guys and welcome to vlogmas day 11. So I'm sitting in my nursery and Doug went outside to get a hammer because we're hammering the final stuff on the walls. So yeah, today we're going to film the nursery tour and take pictures for my blog, so that video should be up this week. But before we do that, I really want to go to Joanne's, like the fabric store, and I want to get um, like wire to hang our mobile from the ceiling because we have twine, but I feel like you need clear or like see-through kind of wire to make it look like it's floating. I don't know. I'm kind of picky like that. Um, also, I think that's how you hang mobiles, but I'm not sure. Oh, and I just remembered we need to get like a hook for the ceiling. And yeah, I want to go to Costco. So yeah, today's like an errand day. Oh, and I really want to get some nursing bras. I feel like I should have asked this in yesterday's vlog. Um, but let me know if you guys think I should invest in nursing bras because... First off, the only things that fit me lately are sports bras and like these bandeaus, which are not flattering by the way. All of my regular bras do not fit me. So yeah, my mom was telling me that I should just get some nursing bras, but I feel like, I don't know, I hear a lot of mixed things about mothers getting those kinds of bras just because they say that they're unnecessary or it's a waste of money. So let me know in the comments below. I might just go look at TJ Maxx today. I know they're not even expensive, but if I'm never gonna wear them, like I don't know why I would buy them. So yeah, let me know if that's something I should buy if I should already start looking right now. Doug just got back with his hammer. So I'm wearing those Prada sunglasses. Still not a fan on me. I like the black ones, but I don't even I don't even know what to say about these. So Doug and I are going okay so we got this like um what is this thing called? Suction cup. Like a suction cup but it's kind of confusing. So we're going to Costco. And we're probably gonna get lunch at Costco. Hell yeah. Because we ran out of food yet again. We never buy enough food, it's so bad. Well, sometimes we do, No, but... we always buy enough food. We, we're just, we're pretty good, contrary to popular belief, we're pretty good at eating at home. When I'm not pregnant. How cool is that? Oh my God, this camera's amazing. It just flips for me. You guys are upside down if you're wondering. Don't look at it, Doug, just drive. You're never gonna be able to do this. Don't look at it. Now it feels like, wow, now you can really see how shitty my lining is in my car. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> I really want to fix it, but so I'm just too fluffy. lazy. I get a comment every freaking video. I'm like, yes, I know that this almost touches my head. Do this then. There you go. This is so cool. It's not too bad, right? But these days so are going to be long really gone because like... I'll be sitting in the back with the baby. Yeah, and by the way, we strapped this thing up correctly. I don't know if you told them that already. Well, it was in a vlog. Oh. Shelby was doing it. Yeah. Yeah. But it's in there. And a lot of you guys were saying that I should put it on the left or the right because it's easier. But I think I'll just leave it on the middle for now. And then when I get too annoyed, like trying to bend over and get her, yeah. I'll just move it, you know. Yeah, but aren't you supposed to just come into some like crazy mom strength or something? I don't feel like once that's you, gonna happen. Once you for become me. a mom. Like your hormones just flare up like steroids and, and you can like lift eight things with one hand and hold the I hope the so because you know how weak I am. I know. Doug is like so annoying. Every time we have to like carry something together. Whenever we we're don't putting... carry something together. No. That's I, what happens. I always try to do it. Like I'm like I'll get this side, you get this side and then I struggle a bit because I'm obviously weaker and he's like I'll just do it myself. And he's like yeah. rah. And it's not even that you <laughs> struggle a bit. A lot of times when we're carrying something big. Haley's hands are too small. Yeah, literally. So Wow, look at that thing, Tim. So she can't get her hand around the thing to get a grip. My hands are small. So I just go, and I just throw it over and my I'm shoulder like, or so something. Dramatic. Like I carried like I carried the crib by myself upstairs. The bar cart was the, the bar cart thing. up upstairs. The bar cart is like is like thick blocks of wood. Yeah. I was and like, I, what are you doing? You're gonna hurt yourself. Yeah, and so I just threw it over my shoulder. Anger, like channeled all my anger into my strength. <laughs> and then it just looks like he's mad at me, but. Yeah, but really, I, have to, I just have to sit there and carry something really heavy. Dramatic. Yeah. Now you guys can see everything that we see. Not that it's interesting, because we're going to Michael's. Yeah. <laughs> so we just got out of Michael's, and I seriously am starving. And it's only 11. Well, we I was had like breakfast getting shaky. At, we had breakfast at like. 7.45. Yeah, I was like getting so shaky, I thought I had to sit down. And I honestly thought that was like a iron thing, but my iron levels are fine. Yeah. 
apparently that could be a concern in their pregnancy. The worst thing about Haley and her like shakiness whenever it happens is you make it sound like it's all the time. <laughs> she shuts down and doesn't talk. Well, yeah, because I'm like starving. Yeah, so I'm like, Haley, what's wrong? And you're just like, <laughs> Haley, like, what do you need? You know I'm hungry. <laughs> but seriously, this is not me all the time. Yeah. You guys will know in your third trimester, you just want to eat. At least this is me. I just want to eat all the time. Mm -hmm. I literally wake up in the middle of the night hungry. Yeah. And I'm like, no, I'm not going to eat at 3 a.m. <laughs> I feel like when you're hungry, I have a better chance at having a conversation with like Lassie the dog. <laughs> <laughs> Do you? Did you know I had a dog that looked like Lassie? Yeah, big dog. Yeah. <laughs> he was really tame. Those Lassie. dogs are really mellow. Collies. Doug and I were just discussing what we get from Costco. Like to eat. Not like in the store. Outside the store. At the little like stand. I get, what are those dogs called? Polish dogs? Yep, Polish. Polish hot dog with sauerkraut. So good. And I was just asking Doug what he gets and he said that he gets a pizza and a hot dog. Mm -hmm. And I did not remember he got that much food. But I do. Yeah. And I was like, what do people say when they go with you? And he's like, they're disgusted. Oh, I said, Spock. <laughs> you all need to get out of You guys way. are going to ask me what lipstick I have on because you guys ask me every time. This, I'm just going to tell you in the vlogs, like honestly. Um, but this is MAC Cream Cup lipstick. I haven't worn it in a while and it's like super pink. Or it's, it's just like bouncing off my shirt. But yeah, I really like it. So we're just circling somebody's the parking gonna, lot. Just gonna swoop that spot already. Just be, be, Doug gets so stressed out. Just gotta be patient. Wow, this guy likes his cereal. Look at that. He has two huge things of honey bunches of oats. Mm. I cannot wait for the day groceries deliver. And I know they deliver now, but they're so expensive. Like I just want it to be a regular thing. I want there to be a drone to come and just drop off your groceries every week. I can't wait for the day that I can just I hate mow shopping. people over because I'm about to right now. I know, what's this guy doing? Make up your know, mind. Man. That's what I'm saying. Ooh, look at all that food. Starving. Costco time. That's a lot of onions and roast now that you look at that picture. I know. Hot dog time. And yes, Doug and I like sauerkraut. I'm sure that'll disgust it's some so of you long. guys. I used to hate it, but now I love it. Doug's picking his steak out. 25 bucks. Looks good. For four steaks. Yeah. Well, look how thick they are, too. That's the thing. I know. Looks bomb. Yeah. All right, let's do it. In case you guys have never seen Costco, if you live in another country, it's basically a giant warehouse looking place that sells really, that sells a lot of different stuff okay, in giant cool. packages. Do you want to do 25 for these four, big old four ones, or 28 for these five? 28. Doug's on a mission to find rice. His hood is on because it's so cold in this store. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. Oh my god, this. Are you looking for. Oh my god, this is so cheap. What kind of rice do you want? Cal Rose. Cal Rose. We got the most random assortment of food. Doug's most excited for his meats. And we got regular milk because we didn't want to take a chance since you get two. Yep. Huh, Doug? We were going to get lactose free, but you get two gallons here, so we were kind of scared. This is Doug and I's favorite coffee from Costco Hawaiian Blend Tolly's. So good. We got a huge bag of rice for $4. Bread, milk, everything in bulk, basically. Steaks, lunch meats. And I'm really intrigued because I've never gotten like fresh bread, but this looks so good. It's called Country French Bread and it looks bomb. Doug literally just held up <laughs> this potato and said he was going to give me this much potato for dinner. <laughs> it looks big on the vlog, but these are red potatoes. They're small. I was like, uh, I need two to three. Anyways, so Doug and I just tried to shoot the nursery tour and the sun went down. So that was the most frustrating thing in my life. Those are zucchinis. Then what is that? That's a cucumber. <laughs> this is, this just shows you that you don't know, you don't eat enough vegetables. Yeah. Anyways, so yeah, we just spent probably like, well we had, we had to like situate it anyways. We had to hang stuff on the walls and then I was like, yeah, we can knock it out, we could do it. 
and then it took way too long and the sun went down so I'm gonna do it tomorrow by myself so yeah that's annoying but I'm still gonna have it up for you guys this week so yeah Doug's gonna make some steak that we got from Costco uh, we've ever we've never bought a Costco steak have we Nope. yeah but I've eaten it like a million times at my parents house and it's bomb so yeah we're gonna have that Doug's making it because I just can't be bothered change into my robe already because robe life this dinner looks so good and I always have to have bullseye barbecue sauce with any kind of meat I eat because I'm lame like that and I feel like some people get really offended when you put like barbecue sauce. yeah like, like sauce, on sauce on their steak but I'm like you didn't grow the cow like you just cooked it some people did oh some people did but not the people that I'm talking about yeah my dad chunks? no We'll see just in case. My dad's like, you shouldn't be putting, well, I don't use, I don't put ketchup on my steak, but he's like, you shouldn't be putting barbecue sauce on your steak. And I'm like, dad. A big. I might have to split it with you. You think I'm going to eat some of your steak? Yeah. Because I'm such a fatty? Yeah. <laughs> it, it might happen. So I'm going to end my vlog. It's not as long as normal, but not every vlog is going to be 20 minutes. Um. So yeah, I wanted to do the comment of the day. This one's from Sarah Lip, yeah, okay, Lepage. LePage, I have no idea. She says, I am pregnant with baby number six and I was always dilated one to two centimeters with every baby and all my babies came late between seven to 10 days overdue. But then someone else said, this is Kathleen Aussie. She said, Haley, I was one centimeter dilated and my doctor's appointment was last Wednesday. The baby came the same week on Saturday. I was 38 weeks and three days and thought I would have time for the baby to arrive as well. Boy, was I wrong, LOL. So yeah, I don't know what's gonna happen. But that is interesting. Also, someone else says, this is M.M. Hazelnut Latte. <laughs> That's a funny name. How do you clean your eye makeup off? The last time I had lashes, they were so itchy, I wanted to rub them, and they were so hard to clean. It is annoying, but I don't really wear a lot of eye makeup on a daily basis. Like, today, I just put, like, a little bit of concealer or, like, my foundation just to get rid of any of the veins or discolor, not discoloration, but, like, you know, redness on your eyelid. Um, so I just use the Garnier Micellar Water and a Q-tip, and I just basically go like that. And then I take a warm washcloth and wipe away like the top of my eye it's a little high maintenance you can't like rub your eye but you get used to it and I think it's worth it because I like lashes um so yeah that is about it for today's vlogmas if you guys liked it then give it a thumbs up and sorry yesterday's vlog went up late because I know you guys were like what the heck you guys all thought I went into labor or something if I go into labor I'll snapchat it so follow me on snapchat if you are that curious about it but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in tomorrow's vlog bye guys Thank you.